Hello, hello, welcome. Hello, goddesses, welcome. We're going to do some fertility readings this morning. I'm going to be doing some, um, some, hi, I'm going to be doing some elemental based um, readings. I usually do um, weekly readings on YouTube, but I'm on vacation right now, so I wanted to just jump on. Hi, hi, welcome, um, and do some elemental based readings. So I'll do air, or air earth, water, and fire. Um, I start with my air signs, my earth signs, my then my water and my fire signs. And we're going to get some weekly fertility guidance to see what Spirit is saying um, may help you this week along your fertility journey, um, what your overall energy may be within your fertility journey this week as well. Um, like I said, I am on vacation. Hi, guys. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you for the likes. Um, I am on vacation, so you may hear like background noise and stuff. So sorry for that if you do. And if you're interested in getting a personal fertility reading while I'm live, I am offering $15 specials. Um, they include gender timing, signs you may see around the time of uh, conception, as well as advice from spirit um, in regards to um, your conception journey. So um, that'll be in, included in the $15 special. You can click the link in my bio to book that. And I'm only going to have that link available while I am live. And it'll be delivered to you uh, via written email. Yay, you're in your two-week wait. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> hello, hello. We're going to get started in a second. We're going to start with our air signs. We're doing weekly fertility guidance. Um, so typically, if you follow me on YouTube, you know that um, these readings consist of an affirmation for the week, a message of like an oracle energy message for you, TTC action cards, and it typically has a yes or no answer for you. But I'm also, for this week, I'm not going to do yes or no. I'm going to do a spirit baby message um, just because I'm, not, I'm out of my element a little bit. <laughs> Who do I have here with me? What elements do I have? Do I have air, earth, water, or fire? I wanted to start with my air signs, so my Geminis, Aquarius, and Libras. But I want to see who's here, who's interested in receiving messages from the divine in regards to their fertility journey um, and guidance along their journey. So we have earth, okay. Pisces, water, okay. Welcome, welcome. Fire, okay. Hello, hello. I don't see air yet. So I might just start with my earth signs. Are there any air elements here? Thank you guys for all the love. <laughs> Water, okay, awesome. Any air signs that are looking for fertility guidance for this week? And then I think I can download this video and then I'm gonna post it to my YouTube. So if you miss anything or you have to go for whatever reason, um, fire, okay, perfect. Then it'll be uploaded as well. Hopefully I can do that. It'll be the first time I do that, so. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I just want to have this as a replayable video for you guys. Okay. So I'm going to start with my earth signs. Um, I'm not seeing air, so I'm going to do earth, and then I'll do um, water, fire, and air. Yeah, so I do, I'll do air last because I have earth here, fire, and water. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> water. Okay, water. Lots of water. Okay, let's get started, guys. And once again, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that I am offering a $15 special right now. Um, Aquarius is air. Aquarius is air, right? Yeah. Hello, welcome. So I am offering a $15 special right now. If you would like to book um, this reading, it is only going to be available while I'm live. The link is in my bio. It says $15 live reading or something like that. Um, and it'll be sent out to you personally. 
Um, and it includes gender timing advice for uh, conception, as well as signs you may see around the time of um, pregnancy or when you conceive. So let's get into, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to start with my earth signs. I'll do earth, water, fire, and then air. Aquarius. Okay. We do have some air signs. Perfect. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> no worries. Air. Okay. Got it. Got it. So let me just number these so I, I don't forget. And this reading is going to include fertility affirmations for this week, um, spirit baby messages, as well as advice and um, and oracle energies surrounding whatever the energy it may be surrounding your journey this week. If you do make a donation for the um, $15 readings, please email me so that I can email you right back and let you know like, hey, I got your donation and you're all set. Okay, let's start off with our air signs, our air signs. Let me shuffle, and we're going to pull from the top. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, whatever it is for you. I hope you had a wonderful holiday if you celebrated Easter. <laughs> Are you just relaxed? I hope you enjoyed your Sunday. Right there for my earth signs, my Virgo, my Taurus, and my Capricorns. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorns. Thank you guys for all the love. Thank you, thank you. And if you missed my beginning of my start, the intro here, I am on vacation, so you may hear background noise. Sorry if you do. <laughs> I just wanted to hop on and give you guys these messages. I might earth sign spirit. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to shuffle that live. Okay. All right, so let's look at your fertility affirmation here for my earth signs for this week. We have my fallopian tubes are clear and ready to guide. Okay, so um, this is a great affirmation for you to recite if you're an earth sign. We have um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn this week. Okay, um, you could also be feeling some um, feelings, some twinges, or some like little. Um, oh, this could even be um, spirit is pointing out. Um, the ovary, so you may be feeling like little twinges in your ovary fallopian tube type area. Um, but this is a great affirmation, especially if you have any concerns or fears surrounding your fallopian tubes. If you've ever experienced an atopic pregnancy or if that's something that you just have had a fear of, um, screenshot this, write it down. Okay. Um, I'm also hearing with this message here for my earth signs that there is a sense of alignment that's coming into your path this week. Okay. So you may be receiving some news, some answers that you've been looking for. I feel like the words clear and ready are standing out to me. Um, and I feel like this is like you're receiving a a confirmation that the path is clear for you to move forward with something this week. Okay. So that's beautiful energy. We love to hear that, right? <laughs> Uh, let's pull a, let's see your energy read first. And then we'll do a, mm, no, Spirit wants me to end with that. So we'll do a uh, TTC to do message and then a Spirit Baby, spirit baby message. All right, Spirit, my Earth signs. Earth signs. What is their overall? Oh, that flew out pretty quickly. So we have slow down, okay? And like I said, this card really flew out. It flew out really quickly. Um, so there could be like a lot of like um, speeding around going on in your journey right now or just in life in general. Spirit is asking you to take a deep breath. Um, the smoke here from this incense is catching my attention, okay? So you may be um, working with a candle, but I'm also hearing um, with the smoke energy, it's moving very, very like calmly, um, if you've ever lit an incense, you know how the smoke can just kind of rise up in its own type of way. Um, I feel like with this message here, Spirit is really wanting you to take some time to relax, allow things to just kind of go with the flow, okay, and to slow down. Um, the message here at the bottom says to avoid burnout, do, don't do too much too fast. Going slower lets you appreciate the miracle of the moment 
and the richness of your life. Okay, so if things have been going fast in your journey, um, I feel like things are going to be slowing down a bit this week. Now, let me see if I can just leave this here. That way I don't have to hold it. Hopefully, oh, I don't know if you guys, oh, this might be better. Yeah, there we go. Um, so now, Spirit wants me to clarify in regards to that message. So if things have been going fast as in chaotically, right, then things are going to be slowing down. Answers are going to be coming in. Um, clarity is coming to your path for sure, because I definitely saw the clear message, clear and ready, as well as the um, the slowdown energy here coming through for you guys. So um, that's, I really like that um, for my earth signs. We are the grounded signs or the element, right? But um, I say we, cause I am a Virgo. <laughs> um, but just to have things kind of slow down so that things start to make sense for you is a beautiful energy to be in. And I feel like that's going to be surrounding your journey this week. Now, in regards to your TTC to do messages here, Let's look at this. I'm also hearing too um, for my earth signs to either like get a massage or uh, do something that's relaxing for you, whatever it may be. Um, I just feel like there's a need for you to just kind of take care of your body in a way that is like self-care type. So whether that's a massage or um, maybe it's like getting your hair done, getting your nails done, uh, doing something for you, uh, meditating even, okay? Those are some things that are coming through um, for me right now. Uh, so whatever works best for you, whatever you feel like, oh my gosh. And then at the bottom of the deck here, we have massage. So definitely uh, massage energy coming through pretty heavily for my earth signs this week, okay? Let's see what else. Spirit, what should my earth signs do this week in regards to their fertility journey in regards to their fertility journey <laughs> and if you're not trying to conceive and you're just passing by um and these messages resonate just take what resonates if you are not an earth sign but these messages resonate take what resonates <laughs> see what do we have here for my earth sign spirit any other messages for their week Ooh, too many spirits too many what do we have i'll take these okay so we have okay so we have Exercise, okay, some more body care here. Um, exercising, maybe even doing some yoga this week, okay, something that Spirit is advising you to um, look into doing. Let's see what else we have here. Especially, I think one of my earth sign goddesses said that she is in her two week wait. So um, I, that totally makes sense as to why things are slowing down, um, like tuning into your body's energy, um, meditating, doing self care things is coming through pretty heavily. So um, that makes sense. <laughs> we also have here, find an influencer, our YouTube channel that motivates you. Okay. So there may be, um, some sort of video, or there may be someone that you're following already on YouTube or an influencer that you connect with. Maybe they're on their fertility journey and what they're saying and what they're doing, they're motivating you, um, in some way. Okay. So I definitely, I see that message coming out for my earth signs. And then, oh my gosh, the last one here is get your mind right. Okay. And I feel like Spirit's like, let me just close up with this message because we were talking about slowing down, <laughs> things getting clear, okay? And this is just like, the, we're just wrapping it all up with this. So this week, you're going to be able to um, step into an energy of clarity and really feel like you are, um, I'm hearing connected to yourself. So some of you guys may have been feeling disconnected from self, like your mind is someplace else and your body is someplace else, okay? Um, so... I like that energy as well. So let's see what your spirit baby message is for the week. And then we're going to move on to our water signs. Let's see, spirit baby message. What do we have here for my earth signs? My earth signs. My earth signs. What do we have for my earth sign goddesses this week? All right, we have two, two spirit baby messages. So the first one says, oh, how sweet. It says, I cannot wait to meet you in person. How beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So that is the first message I have here from your little one. And then we also have, we will be a great team. I don't expect you to be perfect. Please just love me for who I am. 
a beautiful message from your little one here. Um, and I also feel like this is a message that's resonating with or relating to your current week, okay? Um, not just a beautiful message from your little one, but also um, don't expect, don't keep yourself, um, I feel like you may have yourself in this category of having to have things just align perfectly. Um, and spirits like we don't know what perfect is. <laughs> there literally is no one way to be perfect here. Um, so don't be too harsh on yourself. Um, allow yourself to uh, do what feels right. Okay. Um, don't beat yourself up about things. <laughs> That's what I'm also hearing. Okay. Um, and you may also be working with a team. That is also a possibility here as I am seeing the message team. Okay. There could be a support system that you have around you. Also, I want to point out the numbers um, 111 and 1111 um, because it is 1101 where I am and there's 11 viewers right now. So that is a significant number here for my earth signs in their journey. You may be seeing 111 often or 1111 often. Okay. So let's move into my water signs. My water signs. Thank you, my beautiful earth sign goddesses for holding space for your message for this week. Um, if you missed any of the earth sign message, I am going to be uploading this to YouTube. At least I'm going to try. That way I can, um, you guys can watch it again. Um, and I usually put, pick a winner each week to win a free fertility reading from each element. Um, so if you see the video on YouTube, just comment underneath it. I'll be picking a winner. Um, comment your element, so water, earth, air, or fire, um, your name, your date of birth, and I will be choosing someone from this video to get a free fertility reading. All right, thank you, Spirit. Moving into my water signs. Hello, you can go to the link in my bio and it'll say $15 um, reading. And you can just pay via that way. And then email me, please let me know that you made your donation and I will email you back for your reading. It'll be delivered via written email. Ooh. Thank you, Spirit. Ah, can't get this one. All right. Ooh, we're at 1.2K likes already. <laughs> I just got started. Thank you guys for all the love and support. For being here with me in this space right now. Okay. My water signs, my water and goddesses. Thank you, Spirit. All right, my water signs for the week. Let's get your affirmation here, your fertility affirmation for my water signs. What is it that they need to hear? What is it that they need to hear? So we have the affirmation here of, I trust my body to ovulate at the right time. Hi, hello, goddess. Um, so I, I feel like this with this message here, okay, for um, my goddesses who are either waiting for ovulation here or you're just waiting for something to align or waiting for something to happen in your fertility journey or your journey in general, um, Spirit is letting you know that things are happening just as they are supposed to. Okay, and to trust in divine timing. This is, I feel like this is just a reminder. This is something that we hear often about almost every journey that we go on in our lives. <laughs> and it can get a bit redundant, but I feel like spirit is just saying to trust. Okay, trust your body. The word body is also standing out to me. So for some of my water sign goddesses, it's important to trust in your body um, and trust in what the divine, how the divine is guiding you, okay, this week. Um, so screenshot this, write it down. Um, for those of you guys who are waiting for ovulation or you're just waiting for something within your, your path, okay, things are happening in divine order and things are going to happen at the right time for you. 
Let's look at your energy read for this week. What is the energy surrounding your journey? The readings are $15. Only while I'm live, I'm only going to have that link available. So if you want to book a reading, it includes gender, timing, signs, and advice for conception to help you um, on your conception journey. Ooh, they're 15 I don't know if I said $15, but <laughs> they're $15 and the link is on my bio. Let's see, for my water signs, what is the overall energy? Okay, perfect. Yeah, that reading includes timing. So um, it'll either be when you conceive or when you will be conceiving or when you get your positive pregnancy test um, or give birth. It also includes the gender of your future child. Um, and what else? Oh, signs you'll see around the time of conception and then advice from spirit on your journey. And then that'll be delivered to you privately so that you'll just have it. You can look back on it whenever you like. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I received a donation too um, a little while ago. So thank you guys for donating. Um, please email me so that I know where your donation um, or where the donation is coming from. And I can email you back right after I get off of my live. Um, let's see. I think I have one here from Emma. I don't know if she's still here, but Emma, thank you. Let's see, do I have any other ones? Let me see. I'm not seeing any other ones. Sometimes my phone doesn't notify me, so let me know. <laughs> and I'll check, double check for you. Okay, water signs. What is their overall energy this week, spirit in their journey? All right, spirit. Okay, so for my water signs, the first message that we have here is forgive yourself. Okay, so it says, uh, don't become a hostage to the past by berating yourself for your choices. Make amends, forgive your own shortcomings, and keep moving toward a beautiful future. Okay, and I say first message because you guys had three cards that were standing out to me, so I'm going to take all three. Hi, hello. Um, so. The first message here that I, I feel is coming through with this is there may be an energy of forgiveness surrounding your, your journey this week, okay? So whether that's forgiving yourself, forgiving others, um, this could be even forgiving a physician, okay? Sometimes we have to hold that space to understand that, you know, some people are just not aligned to be with us um, or to help us along our path in certain ways. Um, so that could also be just forgiving someone who you expected to um, support you. Exactly, because we have the message trust here and spirit is bringing that back to me. So I feel like there was some sort of trust um, situation for some that really, really uh, affected the way that you you think about your journey, the way that you perceive how things are going to um, progress. And I feel like there's a need for you to forgive and heal um, and I feel like either this journey, this healing journey is going to start this week or you're in the middle of this healing already um, so that you can regain or have trust again, um, whether this is trusting someone else, trusting your body, um, just trusting your path in general here um, is what I'm feeling with this forgive yourself card. Um, I also feel like this is the energy of releasing this week, letting go. You could also be doing shadow work. Okay. It's something that's coming through um, or thinking about doing shadow work. Um, maybe even getting in touch with your inner child this week. Okay. Um, but I do feel like there could be some heavy energies that are releasing from your path, from your body, from your mind, either your emotions as well. We also have practice self-compassion. Okay. So this kind of goes hand in hand here with forgive yourself. Okay. To, uh, be gentle with yourself, um, uh, be compassionate, um, with yourself as well. We have see yourself with loving kindness, acknowledge your growth as an empath and honor the person you have become. And empath is standing out to me, um, especially with this imagery here. It really, I feel like there's a lot of energy that is just coming onto you from other people around you in your environment, but also um, 
yeah, from other people in your environment and not just from people, but just experiences as well. And you're absorbing all of that here um, and because you are an empath. And so I feel like spirit is saying, um, <laughs> I'm hearing the message of don't jump to uh, two steps ahead. OK, just go step by step. Take it step by step. OK, that's a big message for my water signs um, this week. OK, just take each day, day by day, step by step. Okay, and acknowledge your growth as you move forward. Okay, honor the person that you have become. Be grateful for where you are at this time, even if it's just showing gratitude for opening your eyes that day. Um, yes, thank you so much. Yes, please email me um, so that I know. Okay, thank you so much for the donation. Um, and so I really feel like that is something that's going to, my water signs are going to be focusing on this week. And then, oh, look at this. All of these, you guys, I feel like you guys are being hard on yourself. My water signs. Are you guys being hard on yourself? Okay. Or that may be an energy that comes up this week because the last card that came out and these all came out together. So I felt the need to take them is embrace your imperfections. Okay. And I feel like there's some beautiful, um, transformations happening in your life at this time. Okay. This week things, there's lots of growth that's coming in with this growth energy here with the flower. Okay. As well as these butterflies here. Okay. Um, and you can see there's like cracks in the wall. It looks, or this is not a wall. It looks like a wall. For a second, it looked like a wall to me. Um, so there could be some illusions here that's causing, um, these feelings of mistrust as well. Okay. Because for a second, I swear that looked like a wall Then I'm like, no, it's a cup. <laughs> Um, and so, but I just saw the cracks there and I feel like something that was once broken or something that felt broken or wasn't, you didn't see much progress and you're going to start seeing progress in it this week. Okay. Um, and the energy here says, release the idea that you must be without flaws. Oh my gosh. And that's exactly what we were talking about with forgive yourself here. Um, humans are imperfect, messy, and also miraculous. Simply aim to be the best person possible. OK, so embrace anything that you feel as an imp imperfection within your fertility journey, within yourself. Um, so you might need to hear all of this is really good advice. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad for a live read. You can definitely cash at me for um, the fifteen dollars. It won't be a live read. I'll send it to you via email, um, but I'm only going to have that special on while I'm live. So as soon as I get off live, then I'm going to turn it off the link. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you can definitely cash out for me, uh, cash out for it. <laughs> I'm so glad this message is resonating with you. Like I said, if you are not a water sign or you're not the element that I'm on and the messages are coming through most and you feel them, most likely they're for you. <laughs> okay. So just take whatever resonates for you today. Um, so my water signs, embrace your imperfections. Okay. I know that you are perfectly perfect. Okay. <laughs> Or we can say imperfectly perfect. So let's move into our TTC uh, to do's. What do we have here, Spare? What do my water signs need to do this week? And if you donate the $15 for the gender timing signs and advice for conception, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, please email me. That way I can email you back when I get off the live. I'm going to send them out as soon as I get off alive. I'll send out the emails um, with your um, delivery date. And so you know what's going on. So you're up to date on everything. My water signs. Water signs. Thank you, Spirit. What is it that you want them to pay attention to this week, Spirit? I felt the need to take a deep breath just now, so I feel like I need to tell my water signs to breathe. <laughs> breathe. Take a deep breath with me. <sighs> stretch your arms up to the sky. Ooh, stretch your body out. Ooh, that felt good. Okay. What do we have here? Our first message from our water signs. Ooh, we have get rest slash proper sleep. So there may have been some sleepless nights, okay? Um, there could be some more rest that's coming in this week for you, or this is just a message to remind you to um, go to sleep, <laughs> or try to at least. Um, I I mean, I'm not a water sign, and I totally resonate with this <laughs> because I was literally up till 4.30 this morning. I think I got up at 8. So I definitely need to get some rest this week and proper sleep. So this is definitely for me too. Um, but... 
being mindful. Okay, we can, all we can do is be mindful of what time we're going to bed um, and set those boundaries. So we say like, okay, this is the last thing I'm going to do. And then I'm putting my head to the pillow like and that's it. Okay, so just be mindful of that this week for my water signs. We also have track. Okay, so um, I feel like this is it's important for you to log your journey this week. If you're not logging things or you've been slacking off of logging, maybe you're tracking your cycle or you're tracking ovulation in some way here. Um, I do want to say here right underneath this message, we also have fertile. Okay, so that goes hand in hand. Okay, so for my goddesses who are waiting, oh my goodness, look at your, your affirmation. I trust my body to ovulate at the right time. And spirit's like fertile. Okay, so I do feel like ovulation could be happening this week for my water signs, if that's something that you're waiting for. Um, but definitely make sure you're tracking your cycle um, so that you don't miss your peak, um, so that you don't, um, mm, okay, spirit. I'm hearing that. For, hold on, I'm trying to get this together here. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing that for some of my goddesses, you have a very um, regular ovulation. Okay. Like it's like timely. Um, but this cycle, things may be a little off. Either you were sick or um, something may have thrown off. You were taking some medication or something and something could have thrown off your cycle a bit. So make sure you're tracking your cycle, even if you have a typically like, you know, when you're going to ovulate um, or just paying attention to your body. OK, that is also a way of tracking where you're just like, wait, I should should I be I shouldn't be ovulating yet. But um, or I'm waiting, but this is kind of late, but it feels like I'm ovulating. So just pay attention to those signs. There is what I'm hearing. And then the last message I have for my water signs is affirmations. OK, so listening to your affirmations, um, I feel like for some of you guys, this is actually listening to um nature sounds for me i love to listen to rain okay i love to listen to rain like um on youtube and stuff and it'll put me to sleep especially because we have get rest and proper sleep i feel like listening to those different sounds when you're going to when you're going to sleep or laying down it's going to help your mind relax a bit okay it's going to help calm you down um it can be offer affirmations as well okay or whatever you like to listen to okay to kind of calm your mind so that you can get some rest this week Okay, so let's look at your spirit baby message here. Thank you, spirit. Oh, all my signs fell down. That's okay. <laughs> I'll leave them there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you guys for all of the donations. If you would like to get a personal fertility reading, um, only while I'm live, I'm offering $15 readings. And they are gender timing um, I was going to say conception, but the same thing as timing. So gender, timing, signs that you may see around the time of conception, and then advice for your fertility journey or your conception journey. Okay, let's see, Spirit. What do we have here? Oh, and the link is in my bio. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, hon. Thank you. For my water signs, what is your message, Spirit, baby? Our babies. I feel like I'm more than one baby coming through. Oh. Okay. Let me grab it. It fell on the ground, but it came out very direct. Oh, <laughs> okay. So we have this message here of don't worry. Okay. I will like the name you choose for me. So for, <laughs> for those of you guys who are debating on names here, okay, you're thinking about names and your little one's like, don't worry. I'll love the name that you choose for me. Don't even worry about it. Um, but I'm also seeing the message here of don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. And we have that a lot coming through for your reading. Um, and when, with the embrace your imperfections and be compassionate with yourself, forgive yourself, okay, um, letting go of worry, letting go of past um, feelings and thoughts of limitations and beliefs here. And I'm going to pull one more for my water signs. Thank you, Spirit. We also have the message here of please don't give up on me. Okay, so for my goddesses who are TTC and you're trying to conceive your baby, um, please don't give up on your little one. Okay, you may be having a tough time this week or in the past few weeks, past few months. Okay, for some of us years, right? Um, and your little one's like, please don't give up on me. Okay, uh, so wow, that was a strong emotion too. Very strong. 
Thank you so much, hon. Please email me so that I um, can email you back right after I'm off of live. All right. Oh, wait, why am I shuffling again? Let's do one more for my water size. And that came out so quickly. I knew it. I'm like, why did I pick up the cards and start shuffling? <laughs> okay, I love it. And the last message for my water signs we have, thank you for loving me as I am and respecting my individuality. Okay, so <laughs> your little one's going to be um, such an individual, have such a strong individual personality. Um, and they just want to thank you for loving them as who they are. Um, and I'm also feeling this message here for you. Okay, this week, once again, love yourself for who you are. You are imperfectly perfect. <laughs> All right, let's move into my fire sign. So we're going to do fire and air next. If you missed earth or water, um, I am going to be uploading this to YouTube so you can go back and watch it. If you would like to enter to win a free fertility reading from me, you can comment on the bot at the in the comments on the video on YouTube. So make sure you're following my YouTube um, and I'll be choosing someone from each element. So just put your name, date of birth. Um, and actually you can just do that because then I'll just do your, your element, um, earth. I did do earth. Earth was my first one. So I'll be posting this on YouTube. Um, and my goal is today, <laughs> my goal is today, um, but just follow my YouTube channel and then set the notifications and you'll be able to watch the earth reading for this week. I feel so relaxed guys. Like my voice is even relaxed. I'm on vacation right now, so I'm like, my whole body is just like, relax. So on the video um, that I post on YouTube, you can just comment your name and date of birth, and then I will be choosing one person from each element. So air sign, earth sign, water, and fire. Thank you so much for all the love, guys. I literally like woke up this morning. Um, me and my fiance, we went on, we started our vacation yesterday, and... I woke up this morning and I was like, I have some messages from my goddesses, so let me hop online. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Let's clear this energy here for my fire signs. My YouTube channel is My Fertility Goddess. Uh, so just like my TikTok. And um, I think I may have it in my bio. I think I do. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm even like right now, I'm like, oh, I feel like my voice is so relaxed. <laughs> All right. My fire signs. Okay, so for my fire signs, immediately I started to feel... Um, I started to feel hot. I started to feel the heat. And I don't know if I just, just because I set fire or what. I don't know if you guys have been being tested this week or, or last week, the past couple of weeks. Um, I feel like this is more of a, what is the word spirit? This is like emotional control here. I feel like this is um, like you reminding yourself to control your emotions, like not to allow your emotions to like overtake your actions if that makes sense like I got this just this feeling that came over my body where I was like I felt like I got a, like a hot flash so that could also be a pregnancy symptom that you experience okay hot flashes somebody may be having hot flashes <laughs> but I got like this hot flash um and but I also felt like I just needed to hold my tongue if that makes sense or just not allow my emotions to run my actions or to stop me keep me stagnant as well for my fire sign spirit Okay. Is that? Oh, no. We're going to use this deck this time. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So let's... Hi. Hello. Welcome. All right. Let's see what we have here. I do. Yes. I'm actually offering a um, fertility reading for $15 right now, only while I'm live. Um, and it includes gender timing, advice for conception, and any signs you may see. Um, these messages are free. These ones here that I'm doing, they're for the collective. Um, the personal ones are $15 for right now. And I am currently on my fire signs, and then I'll be doing air after. Oh, wait, fire, fire. What is your affirmation spirit for my fire signs? Spirit. 
Spirit is asking my fire sign goddesses to um, attract something to you this week. Continue to manifest. If you're manifesting your pregnancy or if you're manifesting some um, a blessing here, I feel like it's coming towards you when you will conceive. Awesome. Yeah, you can definitely um, book a reading if you like, a personal reading, a Kia, and I can look into timing for you. And it'll be, either be conception or um, around the time of birth or due date. Ooh, yes. Okay, so the affirmations that came out, we have two. Perfect. Thank you so much. Um, the two affirmations we have for my fire signs are the first one is my body releases the past and looks forward to the future. Okay. So like I said, I felt like you may have been tested in the past or like recently, um, or there, this could be the energy coming up this week where someone tries to test you or maybe even just your journey. Cause these journeys can test us from time to time. And we're like, that's it. I'm done. No more. <laughs> I give up, you know, that's a test there. Um, and I feel like that may be an energy that's surrounding your path this week. And spirit is asking you to release the past and look forward to your future. This could also be a past experience that could be, um, you could be reliving, I feel like, or it could be um, resurfacing, not reliving, but resurfacing um, this week, the emotion of it, okay? And um, sometimes when we feel emotion, it can definitely keep us stagnant. It can definitely um, make us second guess things like, for example, if you tried um, something in the past, you tried a certain supplement or you tried a certain procedure in the past um, and it didn't go the way you wanted it to, when it's time to do it again, you know, you may be like, well, it didn't work last time. So what makes me think it's going to work this time? And I feel like that's the energy here. Of, and I literally have the chills over my body. So I definitely feel like that resonates um, with my goddesses here. Um, and it's important for you to know that each experience in each time is going to be different. Yeah, it definitely can. It definitely can. Whatever the messages, spirit just gives me the messages and however they resonate with you, um, then that is how it's meant for you to receive. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like um, this here with this releasing energy, okay, the word release is coming through and that can definitely be um, your cycle, your inner moon cycle coming through, especially if you have irregular cycles or you're waiting for a release to occur. Okay, I feel like that's going to be occurring this week for you. Okay, and you're going to be starting a fresh cycle, um, a fresh experience, even if you've tried it in the past, um, even if you have doubt and you have limitations. Okay, or you have um, not limitations because you don't have limitations, but we think we have limitations, right? That's what spirit's bringing to mind. <laughs> We also have here, I am supported by my community to raise my child. Okay, so you have an amazing support system here um, is what I'm seeing. So I feel like some of you guys may feel like you're in this journey alone here. Um, and Spirit wants to remind you that you're always supported. Um, <laughs> you're never alone. Your angels are always around you. Your guides are always around you. Okay, when you feel those intuitive nudges, um, you are connecting with your higher self. Okay, and your guides are around you to help guide you along your path. Okay, your spirit guides. Um, but I also feel like you have a supportive partner. Okay, even if they're quiet and shy or not really saying much about your journey, um, I feel like it's really important for you to um, create space. Um, create space for them is what I'm hearing. Okay, so whatever their emotions, know that you guys are in this together, but you guys are separate. So whatever they're feeling, however they express themselves is how they express themselves and not to get frustrated or upset about how they express themselves because that's just their way. But also keep space for you because how you're expressing yourself is also just as important. Okay. And I feel like you guys may be coming to an understanding this week in regards to that as well. Whew, thank you, spirit. <laughs> Um, so I think I saw a personal question here and definitely you can email me. My email address is myfertilitygoddess at gmail.com. Um, and I can, we can do a one question read for you if you'd like. It's $7 for one question. Um, and I can check and see if I feel pregnancy energy around you. I think that was for Ren. Yeah, for Ren. So email me, hon. I'm not going to do any um, personal one questions right now, but email me and I will uh, get back to you. 
Wow, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so let's get into this energy read here for my fi fire signs, right? Yeah, wow. A lot's coming through for you guys. Thank you guys for all the love and the gifts. <laughs> thank you. And the donations. I haven't checked in a while, but if you sent a donation, please email me so that I can get back to you after my live. My fire signs, spirit, my fire signs. And feel free to screenshot this as well if you want to screenshot this, uh, these affirmations so you can recite them this week just to remind yourself of the message. Fire signs, spirit, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, you guys also got three. Okay, so the, oh my goodness. Wow. So the first one that came out here is release other people's emotions. I have to put this down because literally I feel like I'm shaking <laughs> because I felt that emotion coming in in the beginning and I literally felt like like this is like flash energy to me like that. Who sees red, y'all? Who sees, to be honest, who sees red when you're mad? <laughs> like, I feel like this is like that energy of like, I'm so frustrated right now. Like, I could just scream, okay? Um, and these emotions here, okay, are from the past. They are also in your current moment as well, things that are frustrating you. Um, but also um, other people's emotions here, Spirit is showing us. So we have the um, message at the bottom that says, ask yourself, is this emotion mine? Thank you so much, hon. Thank you. Um, it says, exhale uncomfortable feelings that are not yours so they don't linger in your body. Inhale light and space. Yes, connecting to the divine um, and that light energy, even going outside, okay, and getting some light. I feel like she's in this dark space here, like the sun is setting or something, but she needs some light. She needs some sun. <laughs> My fire signs, get some sun. Um but wow, releasing the emotion, I definitely felt that energy in the beginning of needing to release emotion here. Um, we also have, oh my gosh, okay, so we have the message of stop trying to fix people, okay? And <laughs> ah, that message was coming through strong in regards to your partner and keeping space and holding space for them and understanding that the way that they process things may be completely different than the way that you do. So there may be something that occurs this week or maybe in your recent past energy where you guys had like a disagreement or an argument or you just felt like you weren't being supported by them. OK, um, and spirit is saying like they are very supportive. They just process things differently. OK, um, you may have been trying to be like, hey, we have to do Let me get this over. You may have been saying something like um, we have to. Um, do this, or, you know, I've been asking you to get this, you know, semen analysis done, or the doctor has been calling about that and they're just kind of lax about it, or maybe they're more anxious than you. Okay. But I feel like Spirit is saying that they're going to take care of their, um, whatever it is that they need to do, whatever it is that they're supposed to take care of on their own. Um, and Spirit's like, it's not your job, okay? We have, it's not, it is not your job to fix anyone. Allow people the dignity of their own paths. That is insanity how that came out. And that was the message that I got right before I pulled these messages. <laughs> wow. And the third one here is set clear boundaries. I just cannot. Thank you, Spirit. Um, and I feel like this message here is really, is in relation to you okay holding space for yourself so we have the space of your partner here and then we have um we are on fire <laughs> we're on fire the fire element <laughs> no worries um so we have the space of you here on the side and then we also i'm mean, sorry your partner and then you here okay so it's important to uh, you're very welcome. It's important to hold space for both of you guys in your journey, okay? Because you guys are going to process things differently, and that's what spirit is bringing um, into your your reality this week, okay? Um, because I feel like there's some emotion that you may have been feeling. Look at her; she looks all flustered. Look at her face; her cheeks are red, like she's all flustered. And I was gonna say, her, her fist balled up. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I just, this is just a lot of emotions. I kind of feel like a fireball around her as well um, of energy. And, and you may feel this week, this energy of like, oh, I'm so mad. Like we, you know, I said it over and over again, or I tried to express myself and it didn't go as I like for it to go. Um, but spirit is saying that it's important for you to keep your boundaries and set limits for yourself um, in regards to your emotions here and what you absorb from other people. So we have the message at the bottom of this card says, empower yourself by setting limits, such as saying no to a request or socializing less. This kind of self-care creates more respectful, healthy relationships. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I feel like this is not only in relation to a healthy relationship between you and your partner, um, but also for yourself, okay, with yourself. Um, setting boundaries is something that I personally have been working on as well, okay? I have been saying no more often. I have been working on my people-pleasing tendencies here um, are just feeling obligated to um, say yes, especially to like family or uh, depending on, you know, it's like sometimes it'd be like, I may not feel like doing it or I may not feel well, but I'd be like, okay, yeah, 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 I'll do it. You know, I'll, I'll go do this. Um, I feel like this week you're going to be setting clear boundaries for yourself um, between and within your relationship as well as for yourself within yourself, like for yourself, okay, away from family members, friends, colleagues, whoever, okay? Don't be afraid to say no and set those clear boundaries. So let's get into um, the TTC to-dos, okay? The to-dos for this week for my fire signs, what Spirit is asking me to do. If any of my goddesses would like to book a $15 reading, I have one more element after this, and then that reading will be, um, won't be being offered anymore. I'm going to take the link down after I get off live, and it's $15 for gender timing advice as well as um, signs that you may see around the time of conception and the reading will be emailed to you okay perfect thank you so much Alyssa um, it'll be emailed to you via written email so once I get it off of my live then I'll email you with all the details of your particular reading Thank you so much. Yes, please email me. That's another thing I want to say. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Um, so yeah, after you book your reading, please email me so that I can email you right back. You're welcome. All right, my fire signs. Thank you. Okay, so we have here from my fire signs, we have baby dance. You're welcome. <laughs> so we have baby dance. Okay, so <laughs> so for some of you guys, Spirit is saying here that uh, this energy of frustration here may have been the um, the barrier between you and baby dancing with your partner, right? Okay, baby dance, <laughs> baby dance, especially if you are um, hitting peak, near peak. Okay, or as you know, well, some of some of you may know um, when you a little TTC uh, tip, I guess I could say, um, when you get your peak ovulation strip, it's so important to baby dance a couple days after that, um, just because the peak means that you are about to ovulate, not that you have ovulated. So make sure you keep baby dancing until you get a rise in your basal body temperature. Um, for I believe three days and that is like confirmation of you have officially ovulated um, I know there's like so many different like paths that can be that can be taken during that um, and everyone's different but those are the average like rules there <laughs> so baby dance okay this week for my fire signs um, I feel like by you guys communicating with your um, your partner as well this week um, and just being in um, an understanding and agreement for certain things, I feel like it'll release some tension that you may have or may have had um, and you guys may be more open um, to spending passionate time with your partner. For the question answer, so I can do the payment now. Um, so if you would like to do it, just one question, it's seven dollars. So seven dollars for one question, and then just email me, um, and then I can actually, when I get off alive, I can send you that answer. So it won't be too long for one question. Um, and then we have here essential oil. 
Okay, so we have the essential oil card, meaning that um, Spirit is advising you to um, use the healing properties of essential oils. You're welcome. Um, let's see, let me get my card down because on the back, I believe I wrote, yeah, I did. So you can use the essential oils on your belly, okay? You can put them in a diffuser, maybe even in some bath water, use a roll-on. Um, I know some essential oils are good for, specific ones are good for um, hormonal imbalances, so helping with balancing out your cycle, okay? Um, but definitely do your research, okay? I'm not saying go put all these essential oils in your bath water, look into it, okay? Because <laughs> there are certain... Um, ways of doing things okay so definitely look into that we also have the energy here of blood work okay so if there is something that um you've been meaning to get testing done okay maybe this week you're going to set an, up an appointment or spirit is encouraging you to set up an appointment to get blood work done this week this can also be in regards i know spirit had um brought the message of semen analysis. So this could also be for your partner. Um, if that's something that you guys have been talking about doing, Spirit is just kind of, I feel like, uh, bringing the energy of taking care of responsibilities this week, um, doing the foundational work, doing the groundwork, um, but also, like I said, holding the space for your partner's just going to do their part when they, when they do it, <laughs> okay? And there's literally, like, you can't, you cannot make them do something that they just... I'm not ready to do yet. Okay. So um, just hold that space for them. And then of course, do what you need to do. Okay. Take care of your responsibilities. And then you guys can talk it out, work it out and, you know, do what works best for both of you. So that is what I have for my fire signs in regards to your PTC to do for this week. Um, let's look at also, I see here at the bottom of the deck, we have take a test now. Okay, so for some of you guys, if you think that you could possibly be pregnant, okay, take a test. <laughs> if you think you're approaching ovulation, test for ovulation as well. Um, and then this is also the energy of um, just taking action. Okay, like we were talking about doing blood work, foundational work, semen analysis, stuff like that. So let's do, oh, Spirit wants me to use the other deck. Okay, let me, I'm going to use the Spirit Baby Love Message deck for your Spirit Baby Message. For my fire signs and then we have air as my last element fire signs and if you guys joined late and you missed anything i am going to upload this on youtube um so you can re-watch it all okay or maybe even re-watch it during the week and be like what has you know what is going on did you know did i receive this message <laughs> was i warned about this what's going on <laughs> okay fire signs Ooh. okay i love it so we have two spirit baby messages here. So we have the first one is rain is my love language. Okay, so <laughs> super cute. So I feel like um, this is your little one saying that they're going to love the rain. Okay, I feel like there may even be um, there may even be like a um, I'm being shown a vision of like you driving around um, in a car with your little one in the back seat, like in a car seat. And literally, you may just get in the car to kind of soothe them to sleep. Okay, so some I feel like some of your little ones, like as soon as you guys get in the car, they're going to be out. Okay, um, but I also feel like this rain is my love language. This is the energy of cleansing um, this week. It's also the energy of of course, love language, okay, the connection between you and your partner, we have baby dance, we talked about your partner this whole reading, <laughs> um, and so I also feel like that is something that's being brought up, and it's so funny because we also have here, February 14th will be a special day, okay, some more love energy, okay, so lots of love surrounding your path this week, but I also feel like your little one's going to be connected to February 14th, Okay, um, connected to Valentine's Day in some way, either maybe around conception, due date, um, birth as well. But I'm also hearing too with the rain is my love language around the time of conception or um, when you give birth to your, your baby, it may be raining. Okay, so you may have it may be raining or the news may be like we have a uh, what is it forecast is that what it's called for rain. Um, so that could also be something significant as well. Okay, so. Let me pull one more card here from the Spare Baby Love Message deck. Nope, nope, not from this deck. Okay, one more, one from here. Thank you so much for all of the likes, guys, all the love you've been sending my way. Thank you for holding space for me while I deliver these messages. I appreciate it.
And of course the donations. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. Oh, my fire signs, my fire signs, goddess, my fire sign goddesses. So I really love message that we have on that flip. Let me see. Um, nope, I think it went back. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. This one. They're all trying to come out for you guys for my fire signs. So I have one that fell, so give me one second. Let me get it. Okay. So the first one that I have here for my fire sign, I just saw the whole word, blood work. Oh my goodness. So the first one I have here is, what are your hopes and dreams for me? Mine are that you are happy, loved, and know how much you mean to me. So I feel like this is a message here, of course, um, for blood work for someone here. Yeah, so blood work is a... Um, a message for this upcoming week for my fire signs. If you um, feel like you need to get blood work done or you've been putting something off, like getting some tests done, tests done, um, or even like could be even semen analysis or just foundational work, Spirit is advising for it to be done this week or just to schedule an appointment and just take care of responsibilities. <laughs> so we have with the, um, what are your hopes and dreams for me? Okay, I feel like your little one is asking you to reflect on this. Um, there may be some, once again, foundational work. I'm feeling like um, that there may be some things up in the air between you and your partner or some indecisiveness in your journey. Um, and so I feel like your little one is asking you to um, gain some clarity on what it is that you expect or what you hope, um, not just for them, but also for yourself and in your path as you go along your path. Okay. Um, they are always around you. I feel like with this energy here, with this mind are that you're happy, loved and know how much you mean to me. I feel a very soft energy with this message as well. Um, I feel like there could be a, um, feminine energy. Okay. Um, it's almost those motherly type energy here. Um, and it could just be that the spirit baby is presenting themselves in a, like a more feminine, um, type way energy, or it could be a baby girl as well. Okay. Blood work. I was with many people, but I'm not done yet. Okay. People. Oh my goodness. That was definitely for you. <laughs> the word blood work. Wow. Um, so wow, that this is a definitely um, a beautiful reflection question here for you to reflect on that. If you have, you know, things that you want to clarify or things that you have forgotten about, maybe even okay. Uh, for some, even drawing. I don't know why drawing is coming through, but I'm going to mention it. Uh, maybe even drawing out your what you want your dream or what your vision is. Okay, creating a vision board as well of your um, path, your fertility. Have, has anyone ever created a fertility? Um, journey vision board like what is it that you expect your test results to be like what is it that you expect to when do you expect to you know when do you want to conceive um when do you how do you want your emotions to be during your your journey um i feel like on a if you have a vision board that you specifically set for um fertility okay you can put all of it everything that you want to manifest on that vision board from your emotions to your thoughts to the actions that you take and how smooth you want things to be um i feel like literally like this message has never come through for to me before <laughs> so i really feel like this is something that um the spirit baby is sending your way okay um if you're a visual person or something you have to see things every single day um i pay 20 dollars for it and missed it am i allowed to use it for now hi hun please email me um, please email me. I think I may have. No, just email me and then we can discuss what happened. Um, missed it. I think I still have to send yours out for your last uh, your last live. But just email me and we'll talk about it. I'm not going to do any live um, readings right now. I'm just doing the elements and then I'm going to get off. <laughs> um, let's see. So, yeah. So, I definitely... Um, that vision, okay, if you're more of a visual person, that vision board is important for you, okay? Um, and then we also have this message here of, 
I will be a bit silly at times. I like to make you smile and hear you laugh, okay? So your little one loves when you laugh. Um, your little one loves when you smile, okay? So smile, smile and laugh. And I feel like that they're trying to bring in that energy of lightheartedness here with all of this energy, this fire energy surrounding you, my beautiful fire signs. <laughs> yes, sending lots of baby dust to everyone trying. Yes, send the baby dust around. I love it. Okay, let's move it to my air signs. So I came with you this week. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I look forward to delivering your messages. I always love is if anyone is here that has gotten a reading from me, you guys know how excited I get when I when I do personal readings. <laughs> and some amazing things happen. I've had um, past loved ones come through with messages and who it just it's, it's it's just amazing it's amazing so yes i look forward to completing your reading <laughs> i love it thank you yes spirit knows how to get these messages through to us <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for my air signs. All right. So, let me do when you're done with your life. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, for my air signs, my air signs. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Okay. My air signs, my water signs, my earth signs, my fire signs, everyone. Okay. Um, and holding this space for these messages, holding this space for me and my energy. I know that trying to conceive can be very um, energetically taxing and um, it can take a toll on us from time to time whether it's through being feeling anxious or nervous or excited sad okay there's so many different emotions ah <laughs> i can't wait to deliver all of your readings guys i can't wait <laughs> Um, and so I really appreciate when you guys hold space for me because this is an energy exchange here and so it does take space um so I appreciate it. I did do Earth. I did Earth first, um, but I am going to be posting this on uh, YouTube. So follow me on YouTube if you don't already. Um, this is going to be the weekly guidance for the week that I usually post on YouTube for all of my elements. And you can comment down below um, your name and your date of birth. And I'm going to choose one goddess from this video to receive a free um, reading for each element like I usually do each week. Yay! Awesome! Thank you so much for the follow <laughs> and being a part of our YouTube community because we are growing. We are a baby channel um, and we are on our way to our first 1K, our first 1,000. So thank you so much for being a part of our community there. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Oof. Okay, for my air signs, my air signs. Love from Malaysia. Thank you. Ooh, Malaysia. Beautiful. Sending lots of love to all of you guys. Okay, so getting into my air signs here, okay? Oh, I forgot to take these down. <laughs> oh, give me one second. I guess these messages were meant for you guys, too. I felt the need. Um, I'll just speak on energetically what I felt uh, moving into your, your reading. Um, but I felt the need to stretch a lot, but mainly my back. Okay, for my air signs, you guys could be having like some um, back pain or some like uh, maybe sitting a lot. Or doing something where you feel like you need to kind of stretch your body out. For those of you guys who are starting on a or, or on already a physical um, fitness journey or you're working on your body in some way, um, I feel like this is the energy of, oh, okay, sorry, thank you. I feel like this is the energy of um, doing the work before and after, okay? Um, so I feel like it is the... Um, <clears throat> like when you be, when you're doing like on a physical fitness like journey, right? It's important to stretch before, and then afterwards you you know, and of course stay hydrated throughout, and then afterwards you I believe you rehydrate 
maybe do some stretching. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not a fitness expert, but I feel like this is like that energy here of making sure that you are um, doing what needs to be done first. Okay. Continuing throughout and then also doing the work after hello 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 um i i have done water so i'm on air signs now um <laughs> and you came in right at the right time for blood work <laughs> um and so <clears throat> i will be posting this on youtube so if you miss these the, uh, your sign okay um you can watch it, the replay on youtube I believe I can download this. All I'm saying, I'm going to post it. Like, I think I can download it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's important for my air signs. Make sure you guys are doing the foundational work or the, the I want to say the prerequisites, right? There's like prerequisites before you do certain things or you can move into the next level before you level up. Make sure you take care of one thing and then move forward into the next after that. Yes, please. I want to watch it on YouTube. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely, um, I believe TikTok will give me an option afterwards to download the video, um, and then I'll post it to YouTube afterwards. So, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed to everybody that I can do this, because it'll be my first time doing this. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready now. I think I pulled down all the cards. Are we clear? All right, we're clear. We're clear. So the $15 reading, it'll be later. So I, it's going to be sent to you personally so that you can look back at it whenever you like. Um, it'll be written a written email. Um, and um, it includes gender, timing, signs that you will see around the time of conception, as well as any advice spirit may have for you in regards to your fertility journey and how to move forward towards conception. Um, and then the link is in my bio. I'm only going to be offering it right now during the live. That's why it says live reading. Um, I'm going to turn the link off after um, I get off of my live. All oh, the elephants. Yes, I have my cute little elephant here. So I went, quick little story. I went to um, Walmart yesterday and I saw this cute little elephant. And then I also saw this cute little bunny here. And then there was like two other um, little things I'm going to be putting on my desk. And like literally a spare baby's like, will not let me leave without getting it. And I was like, all right, I'm getting it. Because I've been looking for something to kind of like invite them into my space um, or just make them feel comfortable in my space a little bit more. So um, this was just perfect. They guided me right over to it. It doesn't have to mean baby boy. Um, it's just, you know, blue has always been associated with that gender. Um, but it doesn't it doesn't have to mean baby boy. <laughs> okay. Let's start off with the affirmations for my air signs. My air signs. My air signs. Doesn't he just feel so sweet though? Look at that little elephant. He's so sweet. I just love him or her. <laughs> okay, for my air signs, my Gemini's, Aquarius, and Libras. What is their affirmation for this week, Spirit? Ooh. All right. So we have three affirmations for my air sign. So we're ending it off with a bang here. So the first one I have here is I am thankful for the time to prepare my body. Okay, so I feel like this is the energy of being grateful um, for what it is that you have been able to accomplish so far, even if you haven't achieved pregnancy just yet. Just showing gratitude for everything that you um, have been able to get done. Okay, the things that you have um, set out to do and that you've completed. Um, the things that have aligned, okay, that the universe has helped align for you in your path. Um, and just speaking out that, or just, it doesn't have to be speaking out, just sending out that energy of gratitude is really important, I feel like, for you this week. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed my live and my positive energy. Thank you. <laughs> I enjoyed all of you too. <laughs> We also have my body intuitively absorbs the nutrients I need, okay? So I did talk about a physical fitness journey a bit, okay, and replenishing your body after working out and staying hydrated throughout. So this is definitely the energy of nutrients here, okay? And um, knowing that intuitively, 
Uh, okay, spirit. So knowing that intuitively your body is going to be taking in the nutrition from the food that you're putting into your body, um, what it needs. Okay, if you have any concerns about that as well, you can also go to, um, I'm hearing for some of you guys, you can get a, if you haven't had a, uh, what is this spirit? Here we go again with blood work. But if you haven't had like a vitamin um, panel done to check like your vitamin levels and stuff um you can have ask your doctor to do that and see if you're like low in vitamin d or vitamin c or whatever the case may be um and the other thing that's coming through um is something that i was told previously um uh, by a doctor um is that it's important to have like say you go to your family doctor your physician and you get the blood work done there they may look at your levels and be like okay you're you know things are good but then you go to a fertility specialist or you go to your like your OB or your GYN and you have them look at it and maybe like, oh, we would like for the levels to be a little higher for when you're trying to conceive. Um, I was told by a um, fertility doctor, they were like different, you know, doctors will look at different levels. Are your levels differently depending on what you're trying to achieve and the journey that you're on? So I feel like it's important for you to um, consult with someone who is um, knowledgeable in regards to trying to conceive. Um, this could even be if it's not a fertility specialist or a, what is the other one? Endo, uh, what is it? What is it called? It's not endocrinologist, is it? Reproductive endocrinologist, there we go. Um, you can go to RE um, or acupuncturist. Sometimes they, a lot of times, they will be knowledgeable of um, Chinese herbs, okay? Like herbal uh, medicine. Um, and you can, you know, they'll be able to tell you, you know, have a wonderful day. Yes, you too. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, they'll definitely be able to, um, look into things further for you and help you. Okay. Along with your specific journey, which would be for fertility. Okay. Um, yep. Acupuncture and acupuncture is exactly, yep. Um, any health professional that is, um, knowledgeable of fertility i feel like it's important even a um what is a fertility coach even okay there's fertility coaches out there if you don't want to work directly with a doctor and they can help guide you and tell you like okay these are, these are the tests that you should be asking your doctor for or these are the tests so that you go in knowledgeable i feel like that's really important um knowledge for of course for my air signs of course <laughs> okay going in and and that intellect there um we have also with the my body intuitively absorbs the nutrients I need. I'm also hearing the message here around um, the proper nutrients, okay, um, in regards to um, not just from your body absorbing for what you're eating, but also mindful eating, okay? So like you knowing like, okay, I'm going to eat this, you know, we, what do we call it? Like junk food, right? But in moderation, like I can still have this, but I can have to have it in moderation or, um, okay, I'm going to cut down the amount of caffeine that I drink. Like those things I feel like are important for you to pay attention to this week. How much caffeine are you putting in your, into your body? You know, how many times are you eating out a week? Stuff like that. Um, I feel like it's important for you this week. And then we also have the message of, I am supported by my community to raise my child. Okay, so scheduling action report for my poet inhalation. Wow, yes, definitely. Um, spirit is bringing that um, to my attention. So definitely, if you felt intuitively called to schedule an appointment, definitely do so, okay? Um, and then we have the energy here of support as well, okay? So you are definitely going to be supported. I feel like for my air signs, you're going to be working with other people to help you achieve this pregnancy. Um, I feel like that's going to be very um, beneficial for you this week. And you may be taking the first steps. We were talking about foundational um, or doing the prerequisites requisites, right before you can jump to conclusions. So for, for you, Paige, it'll be you scheduling your appointment, right? That's the very first step. And then you go to the next step where you sit with them, you have a consultation and just taking one step at a time is really important for you on your journey. Okay. And they are going to be able to support you throughout your path. So that's beautiful how that aligns. Um, let's go into the energy here. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. The energy for my air signs. Energy for my air signs. What is the energy surrounding their path this week? Thank you. Two. Oh, thank you. Okay. I'm like, let's do one more. And it flew out. So let me get it. Ooh. But I can get it. Okay. 
All right, so the first one here that I have for my air signs is release your critical voices within, okay? So someone may be being harsh with their self this week. You see how freeing she is, okay, or in the past, okay? I feel like a lot of these energies may be coming in from the past. And then this week is a lot about um, releasing and like taking care of business is what the kind of theme I'm feeling this week for you guys. So I really like that. Um, but there could also be some critical voices that come through this week that could try to um, is it stabilize or just bring in some stagnation. Okay, um, I the energy that I felt just now is like when you are, um, I feel like we've all had that moment where we're like, um, just driving along, you know, moving along, moving along. And then we're like, oh, stop sign. And we like stop real hard. <laughs> like we were, something just pops into your view and you're like, oh, I got to do, you know, I got to do that. Um, I feel like there may be something that happens this week for you guys where you have that, that feeling about something where you're like, okay, I'm just going to go with the flow, go with the flow, go with the flow. And then you have like this doubt that flies in and you're like, nope, nope. Nope, I'm not going to do it. Um, and so I feel like that it's important for you to release any of those critical voices that are within um, so that you don't uh, cause any stagnation. Because we do have, um, although things are divinely guided, we have free will, right? We have choice. Um, and our choices are very, um, very important, right? Um, we get guided through our intuitive nudges. And I think it's so important that the word intuitive came out for you guys as well, intuitively absorbs, um, because I feel that energy of following your your nudges this week, okay? So your gut feeling um, that, that like, I need to do this. I have been working on that this week for myself. Um, and it's been pretty cool. It's been pretty cool to see um, if I follow the nudge what takes place around me or if I you know if I follow the nudge like for example um I was just talking to my fiance about this I told him I was like I've been trying to like follow my intuition more freely um and I've been like also doing it um, while driving because I get very strong urges when I'm driving um to do like certain things so I've been listening to that very strongly this week as well and I know um one time or last week and I know there was one time where I was going to switch over to Elaine and I strongly felt this urge not to do it yet so I didn't do it and I was watching and observing to see okay well why wasn't it the time for me to do it and the car that I was going to get behind braked suddenly and made a quick turn and I was like oh okay so that's why it wasn't time for me to switch over yet so I feel like um, it's really important for you guys to listen to your intuition and allow your intuition to guide you or just practice with that this week, okay? Um, the message at the bottom says, when a critical inner voice says, I'm not enough or I'm too sensitive, immediately counter it with, this is not true. Focus on loving thoughts instead, okay? Um, so exactly, the limitations, the blockages, okay? Um, our intuition typically does not steer us wrong, <laughs> okay? Um, a lot of times what steers us wrong is we go against it and then we're like, dang, I should have listened to that thought that I had or I shouldn't have went or I knew I shouldn't have came here. That's usually what we say. It's usually not the other way around, <laughs> So um, that's a strong energy for you this week as well, listening to your intuition and releasing those critical voices. And then we have honor your sensitivities, okay? And maybe you have these critical voices coming through because you are sensitive. Look at this beautiful rose. I absolutely love that. Um, I don't know what roses signify, but I feel like that's something that um, you should look up, okay? Look into the the symbolism of roses i think red roses represent love if i'm not mistaken but um whatever color comes to mind for you look into that color rose okay is what i'm hearing um there's a message there for you so we have your sensitivities are a gift be proud of who you are put your hand over your heart and inwardly say i embrace my loving heart okay now these two go hand in hand, okay? We have the critical voices within where you may be like, um, I'm going to follow through with something, right? I'm going to do it. And then right before you're about to do it, you stop and you're like, nope, I'm not going to do it. And then what comes in right after that? Ugh. I always do this. Why didn't I follow through? Why did this? Why did that? And that's those critical voices that come in. And Spirit's like the only reason, okay, you are having these these doubts, these feelings, is because you are in you are 
following your emotional, I feel like it's an emotional um, scale here, okay? You're in touch with your emotions and maybe you don't feel, okay, the energy of feeling. It doesn't feel right, okay? Or, you know, it didn't happen for a reason, okay? Um, so honor all of your emotions as sacred because they are, okay? Um, and once again, the intuition is coming through strong again, and that is feeling, okay? That is feeling. So those are the energies that I feel are going to be resolving, revolving around, maybe even resolving something in your journey this week, but revolving around your path this upcoming week, okay? Being, um, it's important to honor your sensitivities, Okay, if something tells you no, even if you follow the first step, you get to the second and then you intuitively feel like, nope, this is not the place. This is not the place. Don't feel like you must just go through with it because you took the first step. There's always a way to go backwards and then go around, go over, go under. There's always another way available. Okay, so um, and then if you choose not to follow through and you're like, oh, man, you know, I had to wait months for this or I had to wait weeks for this and then it didn't even work out. And it's because of me like, no, it didn't work out because it wasn't meant to. Okay. So that is what I have for my air signs for your energy. Let's get into your to do's for this week here. And then we'll finish off with your spirit baby messages. So if anyone would like to book a personal reading with me for $15, um, there the link is going to be gone in probably like 15, 20 minutes. Um, as soon as I get off a live, I won't have it available anymore. The link is in my bio. And I will email you or I'll ask you to email me and I'll email you back so that we can get your reading to you. Oh, oh that's a chunk. Give me one second. Your cards are falling on the floor. Oh, okay. Your cards are falling on the floor. I feel like that's the energy of um, picking yourself back up, okay? Picking yourself back up. For my goddesses who have been feeling like um, you've hit rock bottom, okay, or you may get to with this, these critical voices, definitely, okay? Um, you may feel like you've hit rock bottom. Okay, I feel like there's an energy of picking yourself back up. Are you being picked back up by the support, the supportive community uh, this week? Okay. What else, Spirit, for my air signs? What do we have here for my air signs? Yep. Some more. Some more cards hit the floor. Oh. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, Catherine. All right, I'm on my air signs right now. I'm going to gather a few more cards before I take these here. I'm going to have a few more spirit for my air signs. This one for sure. And one more. Thank you. This one. Thank you. Okay. For my air signs, your to-dos this week, we have the first message here is CM, so cervical mucus, okay, so maybe tracking with your cervical mucus or paying attention to it this week, okay, it'll be important for you. Um, you may notice some changes, maybe it'll turn fertile, maybe you're leaving out of the fertile zone, okay, um, but I feel like tracking with your CM this week is important or being brought to your attention. There could also be something about your cervical mucus that is being um, brought to your attention as well, so if things feel like, you know, you get something checked out or whatever the case may be. Don't ignore it. Okay, get, get it done. We also have the message here of blood work. Okay, once again, foundational energy coming out for my air signs. Okay, so if um, you're thinking about getting some foundational work done so that you can receive some answers, okay, um, definitely it's being brought here for you. We also have the energy here of take a break. Okay, so we have the take a break energy. Um, so maybe you're just coming off of a break this week or you're going into a break this week. If you feel like things are a little overwhelming, okay, spirit is, uh, yes, blood work for you again. Yes, they're like pushing that in right now. <laughs> Um, if you feel like things are getting to be a bit too much, okay, don't be afraid to take a break, pause, breathe. A break doesn't necessarily have to be month, um, a month or months or years. It doesn't have to be a day. It could just be whatever you feel like you need. It could be a moment. Let me just take a deep breath. I just need a break. Okay. Um, we also have find or listen to a podcast. Okay. So there may be a podcast out there. There's some really great, um, 
fertility ones that are out there, okay, um, podcasts, and I feel like this week, Spirit is asking you to listen to your favorite podcast or find one, something that's going to help guide you. This could even be like a, I'm um, hearing as well, this could be affirmations or it could be like some sort of music, okay, um, like even hurts, okay, if you listen to hurts, like positive energy, um, healing, they have so many different types of hurts sounds. Um, that is something that's being brought to my attention this week for you, as well as declutter. Okay. So for declutter for my air signs, I feel like that is physically, um, but it's also, um, mentally. Okay. I feel like it's that mental energy of releasing, letting go, um, and understanding, okay. That declutter energy surrounding your mind. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Spirit, the spirit, spirit baby messages. So my hand went straight to this deck. So I'm going to start with the your baby love messages here for my air signs. What's your spirit baby love message for my air signs? Goodness gracious. Okay. We have, oh, the first one we have here for my air signs is our hearts beat as one. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Um, so that is a strong connection that you have to your spirit baby okay your spirit baby is highly connected to you um they could be closer than you think as well okay um but this is also the energy of alignment okay things aligning along your path this week what else do we have here we have who are you Oh, so we have, we are together at last. Okay, so we are together at last. Just fell on the floor, of course. <laughs> oh, but I, it goes so perfectly well here with our hearts beat as one. And you guys being together, I'm, I feel like with this energy of at last, you guys may have had a past life together. Okay, you and your future little one. And so they're just like, our, we are together at last. This could also be the energy of you trying for some time as well. Okay, um, <clears throat> we also have... <laughs> wow. Yeah, I definitely feel like, ooh, <clears throat> my voice. I definitely feel like um, we are, I'm like we. <laughs> well, I am, I am an air sign uh, moon. So I guess I could claim this message. <laughs> but we also have a message here of, I'm sorry if I hurt you, mommy. I'm just trying to get comfy in here. Okay, so some more energy showing me that your little one is not too far. You may also experience some implantation um, symptoms or implantation cramps uh, or discomfort within your body when you do conceive your little one. And we also have the energy here of naps are my love language. Okay, so naps are my love language is coming through for you. Um, and I feel like your little one is going to love to nap as well as they are going to... Um, you are going to love to nap. They're going to make you nap, okay? When you're going to, you may be fatigued when you first conceive. Um, that might be a pregnancy symptom that you have, okay? Um, and then this last one, yes, we have lots that came out for my air signs, um, is I'm helping to put mommy and daddy together, okay? So this is together, I feel like mentally, this is bringing you together to see eye to eye about something, okay? So this week you may feel like there was a breakthrough in some sort of um, discussion you may have had previously, or this week there may be you know your partner may be like hey I completely understand what you were talking about last week <laughs> okay um, so I feel like there's going to be some sort of breakthrough coming through and it doesn't even have to be both your partner it can just be from you receiving the support from these guides okay that are around you um, or whoever you're going to connect with this week okay so that is what I have for my air sign my air sign goddesses so I've done all of the elements <clears throat> I feel like I need some water now, um, but I've done all of the elements. So I started with earth, earth, water, fire, air. Okay, I'm going to upload this video. Fingers crossed, everybody, that I can upload this video to YouTube for you um, and you can watch it. I'm going to be doing a fertility reading giveaway. Um, I'll be choosing one person from each element. So definitely write your um, your name and your date of birth in the comments on the YouTube video. Follow me on YouTube as well um, to be entered for the gift for the reading giveaway. And then I will be like liking your comment or commenting, letting you know like, hey, you won. <laughs> okay. Um, so the YouTube link I think is in my bio. I believe it's in my bio. But if it's not, it's my fertility goddess. Um, 
You are so welcome. I'm so glad that it resonated and thank you so much. I'm glad that you really loved it. Um, like I said, I definitely felt like um, I needed to get on right now. I just kept telling my fiance, like, I got to go live. I got to go live. I have messages to deliver. <laughs> um, so I'm glad I just need to hear this. Um, so I'm glad that it resonated. But my uh, YouTube channel is My Fertility Goddess. Um, and you can just follow the or subscribe to our family. Ah, we are growing. I think we are halfway to our 1K goal, our first 1K, um, since we are a small channel. So I would love to have you in that community. And then this is, uh, I'm leaving space for any goddesses who would like to um, purchase a $15 reading. Once I get off my live, I won't have that available anymore. Um, and it includes gender timing signs you may see around the time of conception, as well as your um, advice for your journey. You are so welcome. Yes, claim it, claim it, claim it. And thank you guys for all of your support throughout this video, um, throughout this live and on my TikTok platform. I love all of you guys. I really, really love connecting with you every single day. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to get off now. I hope you guys have a beautiful Monday. Um, or whatever day it is <laughs> for you. <laughs> Head over and subscribe to you. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing your subscribe. Don't forget to enter, okay, so that I can offer you the free reading or have a chance to win the free reading as well. My goodness, so much love in this community. It's so, such a small little circle right here, but it's so much love. I feel it. So thank you guys. All right. Have a wonderful day. Bye. I'll be emailing everyone who booked the reading as well. So if you didn't email me yet, please email me. As soon as I get off, I'm going to email you all about the delivery of your reading. Okay, so you know when your reading is going to be delivered. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. You are welcome.